Here is the very latest at this hour. The State Department has begun evacuating U.S. citizens as President Obama calls for an orderly transition of government, but hasn't asked for President Hosni Mubarak to step down. And after seven days of demonstrations, more than 100 people have been killed. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo for us this morning with the very latest. Elizabeth, good morning. Morning, Chris. Yes, as you mentioned, we're almost a week into this upheaval, um, and people are getting really tired, not only from demonstrating, of course, but at night now they have to go home to defend their homes. Uh, however, there doesn't seem to be any weakening of resolve. I've just been watching people flowing into Liberation Square steadily all morning, uh, and it looks, although it's early to say, as if this may be the biggest gathering yet. All night, gunfire crackled from Cairo's residential neighborhoods. And when the sun rose on day seven of this extraordinary uprising, it was clear the city once again had been looted, as police remained in their barracks overnight. Citizens groups, which have sprung up to defend neighborhoods, commonly believe that it's the police that have unleashed the looters and at times even join in themselves. Nobody's wreaking havoc here, says Yusuf, except the police and the thieves. This morning, some officers return to duty, although they'll direct traffic and restore order. They are not the riot control squads we saw last week. State television aired pictures of men apparently arrested by soldiers for breaking the curfew. The message is clearly, stay off the streets, but it's not working. Nevertheless, the hours of curfew have been extended. Today, it's due to begin at three in the afternoon. Last night, there was a dramatic turn of events in the square that's been at the center of this popular uprising. Egypt's bookish Nobel Peace Prize winner, Mohamed El Baradai, defied the curfew to come and address the crowd. His message, it's all over for President Hosni Mubarak. But so far, there's no sign that Mubarak is going anywhere. As hundreds of people, Egyptians and tourists, jammed the airport highway determined to leave the country, diehard demonstrators camped out in Liberation Square last night. They woke to find the political situation hadn't changed a bit but neither has their main demand. The one thing uniting every participant in this movement is a belief that President Hosni Mubarak has to go. Now, so far, these demonstrations have been organic. There haven't been big leaders or clear instructions, but for the first time, it seems there is a widespread understood instruction that tomorrow there is going to be what is being called a million-person march. Chris? CBS's Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo for us this morning. Elizabeth, thank you.